Summer is coming to an end, and we're wrapping up our summer project, which has been converting this ambulance into a custom DIY tiny home on wheels. We've not only done a lot of work on this ex-emergency vehicle, but we've learned a lot. And with the project coming to a close, we're still learning. I don't want to try it. Hi, good morning. Oh my goodness. We're getting pretty ready to get this thing finished. Um, so, update from the weekend. It was the long weekend here in, um, in Canada, uh, Labor Day weekend. And oh what? It's so cold. It's five degrees inside there. Okay, so it's warm out here, but um, yeah. So this weekend was the long weekend, and if you guys watched our last vlog, I was saying how all the kitchen pieces just needed to be cut, and then I was gonna put contact paper on them, but. I spent an entire day, almost two days, putting contact paper on all the pieces. It is so hard. I don't know how people do that. Normally on YouTube, I did all the tricks and everything. Um, so I spent like two days doing that almost and then realized I didn't have enough because I didn't measure it first. So then we went into town we were like looking everywhere for the same contact paper because i wanted to obviously for it to be the same one you can't put a, si a different one on it and we can't find it anywhere and basically to order it online it would take like two weeks at least to come in and um we want to be done this before two weeks like we're almost done so the last so the last decision that we made basically is when we went to rona I got some paint and now we've been painting um, those pieces so that is a bit of a process in itself because it's finished birch plywood so I have to rough it up first and then I do two coats of primer and then I'm doing black paint so I don't know how many coats it's gonna take and it's all just taking a lot of time to get this kitchen put together the pieces are there it's cut it's ready to go we just need to get it to be the right color so that is the update from what has been happening for the past like three or four days so i have one coat of primer on right now um from yesterday and then i'm gonna try to get to do some painting today um and then we've got it installed at bench and nick you're gonna build the other bench today or the cubby uh both. and nick is gonna try to build a bench and a cubby today so um it's like we're so close, but we're so far. It's the weirdest, hardest feeling to describe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess anyone who's done a project before would know what this is like. <laughs> I'm just so ready for it to be done. All right, so I finished making well, almost finished making the skeleton for the other uh, bench seat in the corner, right in there. It's almost done. And then we can put a heater in the front. Um, so that'll be like our little uh, heater that works off of the plug. There we go. So it'll just sit right in the front there. Another thing that we're going to be doing is we have to run into town because we are... Well, we're painting the pieces for the kitchen right now. Uh, as Rachel explained, um, we're not contact papering them anymore. So we're painting those, and while we're waiting for them to dry, Rachel's gonna make uh, custom boxes to fit inside of our cabinet and up in our cubby, um, because we can't really find anything that fits. So we have to run into town and get the materials for that. And, I mean, I think that's it really for the day. Um, maybe getting some sewing supplies as well so we can custom make um, the seats uh, that'll go on the bench like the cushions and yeah I think I think that's all we'll, we'll need in town today but yeah we're pretty close like I'd say three or four days off of getting this thing done Nick decided that he was going to eat lunch and I said I would just run into town quick 
to pick up the packages and to go to the dollar store and do a whole bunch of stuff. I just carried these two massive packages behind me and then I have another one in front, which I think I know what they are. Um, but yeah, just gonna go check out the dollar store. I think that I'm gonna make my own baskets, but I need like a custom size situation to work around. So um, this is gonna be a bit of a learning curve, but hey, the whole thing has been, so let's go. Okay, so I got that mirror. Oh, I gotta pluck my ear, bro. Um, so we'll carry these out. I, those are just extra paintbrushes and stuff, but I don't know what's in those boxes, so I guess we'll carry them out to the ambulance and check them there. Sure, I don't have the keys on me though. Okay, the that's fine. Sick. Yeah, I figured it'd be too many messengers. That's okay. But these ones are plastic, so yeah. that's what's really cool about these. Is that we can make our sauces and stuff in them. Am I in this shot? I like can't see anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they're like mason jars, so they're plastic, so can't break them. Boy, Haggy Pletch. Oh, I didn't realize there's some more coming. Oh, our French press. Yes. yes. Oh, fuck. You okay? Yeah, just tore the foam. This is a nice little decoration, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, these are so cute. Maybe a jungle in there. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. The girl didn't quit her day job. <laughs> nice. Ooh, these are pretty. Pretty, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is a dish drying thing. Oh yeah. So you can put it over top of your sink. sink. Perfect. And then we've got our mugs for our coffee. Coffee? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Guys, I think it's time to put this measuring tape in the garbage. It doesn't go in. It won't go in. It just will, like, it's stuck like that. I wish I could show you with my other hand. And we've just been using it like this, dangling. And we have a perfectly good new one, but we just use this sometimes. So I'm getting rid of it because it's just annoying. Come on. Anyways, it's a new beautiful day to work on our lovely ambulance. I'm so proud of those cushions I made last night. They're not perfect, they're not professional, but hey, I've never made cushions before, so <laughs> what are you doing? Marry me, Juliet, and now I have to be alone. <laughs> um, yeah, so today I'm gonna learn how to make covers for them, and I'm not much of a sewer. Not a sewer at all. Seamstress? Sewer. <laughs> like, really. Um, but hey, let's get to work. It's a beautiful, sunny day. We just had lunch. Um, I'm now, oh, I'm dark again. There we go. That, I think that's kind of working. Um, anyways, we just ate lunch. Um, I'm about to get the outlets installed in the uh, kitchen. I have one already installed. I'm having a pain. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not having a pain. <laughs> this, this one outlet is being a pain in the ass. Um, so, I've got this one installed. Um, we've got a hole here for our outlets, which are gonna run into the box. And I'm just having troubles getting this one done up because uh, I don't have the um, hardware for the top and the bottom. 
But uh, yeah, once that's done, then I can do the front side of this thing. And we can put the countertop back on. And I think that should be it. What do you think? Sounds good. Are you having a pain? <laughs> I'm going to school. Back to school. It's September. Um, hi. We woke up at like 4 a.m. this morning and neither of us could sleep. And we were just talking about the ambulance and life and stuff. And then we were like, okay, let's just go work on it. So it's very early and um, we have a bit of a breeze. It's a bit chilly, but that's okay. Um, yeah it's so weird like we're so close to being done but then the closer we get to being done we're realizing that there are so many things to do so it feels like we're so close but so far and um yeah just a lot going on it's a lot to process and i think it's like really crazy for us right now because you know summer has kind of slipped away the pandemic is still going on. It's been such a weird year. And here in Canada, it really feels like winter's coming soon. And if you're Canadian, you know, or if you live in like a state or a country that gets cold in the winter, like you know, as soon as it turns autumn, you're like, uh oh, here it comes. Winter's coming. It's gonna be long and cold. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Summer is coming to a finish. We spent the entire summer working on this van. And now that summer's done, we want the van to be done too. Yeah. Agree? Yeah. So yeah, well that's, that's basically why we couldn't sleep. And that's basically what we were talking about this morning. I should have just set up the tripod to be standing up. Oh, I guess I could have done this. God, my poor back. Honestly, I was saying this the other day to, to our, uh, our friend and to Nick. I'm like, I wish we did this when we were like 19. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know we're not, old, we're not old, but I'm like, my back is killing me. My back is killing me. Making the um, smaller bench on the kitchenette side. Um, so I've cut my hole for the heater here. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that it fits properly. Just in the front. Uh, perfect. Nice. That works. And uh, where was my cover? Oh, here. Sweet. So that'll just sit like that. I'll use the old cover and yeah so this is like a, um, a the heater that runs off of shoreline power uh, I'm hoping that once our inverter comes in um, I can wire this up to the inverter uh, otherwise we're the only heater that we have is from the engine and obviously if the engines not running the heater won't be running either so it will be nice to hopefully get this hooked up to um, the inverter and then we can just turn it on and use it whenever it is cold because it is BC and it does get very cold everywhere in Canada actually you can't get away from it so yeah. So I'm just running inside now. Um, I haven't seen Rachel in a little bit. Um, I'm assuming she's probably ordering stuff or I don't know, maybe making food or something. Um, but I'm just gonna run in and grab her. Uh, I need to ask if she wants to paint the bench outside, which I would assume she would. 
but I don't know. She told me to put it inside and she painted inside before, so I'm just going to talk to her and see. And yeah. Hey, sleepyhead. What? Say hi. So as you may know, we normally post these videos on Saturdays and today is Saturday and this video is obviously not up because I'm talking to the camera and it's not edited. So last night I did not have time to edit the video. Um, but at the same time, we're so close to being done. Oh, my camera's dying. Um, we're so close to being done that uh, I kind of want to film our last, our final touches that we're putting in. So the bench is now in. Um, we're putting decorations up. We've got to put the, we're going to put the bed in today. Um, and Nick is just finishing the plumbing. So that is the very last thing that we have to do. Everything is built. We are just installing things. And um, I got this. Nick's mom got this for me. This is from ICBC, which is the insurance in... Um, BC about all the things that we need to, uh, in, on the checklist to ensure this as a motorhome. So all of this is happening today. Um, just didn't have time to edit, but decided to share with you what what's going on today. And then, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this will be our last build video. I don't know if everything goes right. Test the water supply system to make sure there are no leaks. Should pull this thing out. Okay. So we're not gonna. We I haven't finished the drain pipe yet. So we're just gonna ch test the actual water lines just to make sure that they um, they supply water to our faucet. Okay, let's do it. We got water. Oh, it's coming out the top. We don't know what's going on, um, and turns out plumbing is a bit more of a project than we thought it would be. Surprise! This is like everything in the ambulance so far. Um, so yeah, it's getting pretty late, dark, well it doesn't look like it on the camera, but it is, it's getting pretty late here. Still haven't eaten, so we need to eat food and um, get our lives together and get our brains working to get this plumbing done but at this point we're getting very close <laughs> have i said that for like three videos now yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching and we'll have updates for you very soon